Hey there Stampers, happy Friday. Feels like forever since I've done a Facebook Live because I missed last week. I guess it's only been two weeks, but it feels like a lot longer. My name is Sherry Roth and I'm happy to be here to share a crafty project with you this morning. And yes, I know it's the only the beginning of September, but we are working on Christmas or we're doing a Christmas project. All right, I'm just updating my iPad here so I can see, there we go. All right. So if you're joining in, whether it's live or you're watching the replay, uh, make sure that you say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. It's always nice to see. All right. So today, like I said, we're creating a Christmas card. I am determined to make this Christmas a stress-free Christmas. I, I've started preparing in July, working on Christmas cards and gift packaging and tags, and I plan on doing a little bit every month. Hopefully by the beginning of December, all my Christmas crafting will be done. Um, so you'll see lots of Christmas between now and then, but not just Christmas, I promise. I have other projects to share as well. Okay, so today we're gonna work with the Words of Cheer bundle, which is from the July to December mini catalog. You can find it on page 20. And you can see here some beautiful samples, but I wanted to point out that for any of the bundles, if you check the back of the catalog, there are also additional bundles. So if you look on page 66, there's another beautiful shaker card sample in the bottom right corner there. So stunning. I actually think I might recreate that. I think it would be really pretty. Okay, now I'm really hoping that my internet does not cut out. We've had problems the last few days and I just noticed it kind of flickered. So let's hope that this does not, <laughs> does, does, not, does not kick us out. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I've got some pieces here. Okay, so I've got, let's slide these out of the way. My card base is going to be a piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock, just a standard size card base. And then I've got a few layers. I'm going to use Very Vanilla as my neutral, which I don't use very often. So this Very Vanilla, I believe measures four by five and a quarter. Oh, no, it might be a little bit more. I think it's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Yeah, because it's just got a tiny little bit of a border. And then I've got a piece of Mossy Meadow that is four by five and a quarter. So we're going to attach these two. So I'm not gonna do anything to this mossy meadow. If you wanted to step up this card, you could easily step it up by embossing it, but I'm going to emboss another layer. You could also stamp on it, but I'm working on quick and easy projects. And we'll just adhere this. <laughs> Season's greetings to you too, Mary Liz. <laughs> feels weird the beginning of September to be working on Christmas projects, but it's never too early to start. Okay, now I've got a piece of the uh, metallic, brushed metallic cardstock. This is the copper color. This measures, I don't have my measurements written down, one and three quarters by five inches. And then I've got a piece of Very Vanilla that I've gone ahead and I've embossed using the Timber 3D folder from the Holiday Catalog. So it's got a little bit of texture to it. I love this embossing folder. It's my top pick in embossing fold, in new embossing folders from this catalog. I just absolutely adore it. So that is going to get stuck right into the center here. And I really didn't want to cover up a ton of um, that beautiful brushed copper cardstock. So I left a wider border. And then this is gonna get attached to our card base on the left. And I'm gonna leave an even border top, bottom, and on the left-hand side. Just like that. This is for the inside. We are gonna do some things to that a little bit later. Now, I've got some more scraps of cardstock here. Okay, so I've got a strip of white and I've got a piece of our adhesive sheets. And I'm going to adhere the adhesive sheet 
to, did I say white? Very vanilla, it's not white. So I'm just gonna peel off the backing here and adhere this to the back. Well, to one side, it's the same on both sides, so it doesn't really matter which side because it's just cardstock. Okay, so I'm gonna adhere, adhere that to that and then I'm going to take my cheer die, so this particular one, and I'm gonna cut that out of there. And then I've taken another piece of that beautiful brushed copper cardstock, metallic cardstock, and I've gone ahead and I've cut this cheer die, okay? So there's no adhesive sheet on the back of this one because we're gonna pop that up using dimensionals. But this vanilla piece, I'm going to take these. At first I thought these were stars, but they are actually flowers. So I'm gonna take those and cut those from vanilla. All right, so let's slide this out of the way. And so last weekend, I spent the weekend with some friends at an Airbnb, and I got this tip from my friend Donna. She uses, you know, these shelf liners? She uses them underneath her die cutting machine so they don't slip around so much, and I thought that was genius. So I cut, this morning I cut some of my own, one for my mini machine and one for my big machine. Let's see, can we fit both of these on here? Are you guys getting, um, is it flickering for you? Or does it look okay? Because I keep getting notifications that it's, my Wi-Fi connection is weak. So hopefully you guys are seeing this. Okay, so I'm gonna feed this through. So see how it doesn't, it, it still slides around a little bit, but it doesn't slide around as much. Okay, so I'll move this out of the way. Okay, good. Hopefully it's just me. Let's put these back on here so that we don't lose them. All right, and we'll pop these out. So by adding the adhesive sheets to the back of this before I die cut it, it converts it to a sticker so that we don't have to worry about any glue seeping out and it being sticky. And the other thing you can do, if I cut that in the center, you could save this and you can use, well, I mean, regardless, you could save this, trim it down so it's even, and you could use that on a different project as well. Okay, so let's pick these pieces off. All right, I think it's time for a new mat. This bottom mat is quite worn here. I know the adhesive st strips are awesome, hey? Or the adhesive sheets. All right, so let's go ahead and we will adhere our letters to our cheer. So you can use this as is, or you can layer it which I think it looks really beautiful layered. Just peel off the backing. And I find my tweezers so helpful for this to get it lined up nicely. Just like that and no messy glue. Especially on the metallic cardstock. I find sometimes multi-purpose glue on metallic cardstock can just make a big mess. All right. I think I'm gonna have to get somebody to come in and check our internet because this is crazy. The other day I tried to do a Facebook Live and I was getting, I got booted out three times before I could actually get it to work. And the thing is, our router is like right beside, like it's right in my craft area. So it's not because I'm in a different part of the house. Crazy. All right, a couple more letters here. I know that, right? Because it's a glossy finish, it smudges so easily when you get that glue on there. So whenever you can, adhesive sheets are 
a much better choice. All right, there we go. And then on the back of this, I want to pop this up using dimensionals. So I'm going to use some mini dimensionals, actually, and I'm going to trim them. So let me grab, I don't want to use my paper snips. We're just going to trim these. Can you hear the uh, music in the background? <laughs> That's our dryer. <laughs> I forgot to close the laundry room door. It makes so much noise. All right, so we're just gonna use half of a few mini dimensionals to put it on the back here. It's one of the perks of working from home is being able to do laundry while you're working. All right. Let's do one more here. Okay. All right. Does anybody else love using tweezers? This is a new find for me. I've always had them in my collection, but just lately I've been using them more and more and I just love them. I feel like I have so much more control. All right, this is gonna go right on here, right in the center. And now you could leave it just like this. It's a pretty card, it's simple but I wanted to step it up a little bit. So that's where these little guys came into play. So I am just going to kind of fold up the petals on a big one and then a little one. And then I'm gonna use a mini glue dot and just stick a mini glue dot right in the center of the flower, peel off the backing. Adhere the smaller flower. And then in the center of that, I'm gonna put one of our red rhinestones. And then this is gonna give just a little pop of red on the front of the card because we've just got the one, well, the two colors, I guess, vanilla and the green. And I'm gonna do three of these like that. This one. So does anybody have any fun plans for the long weekend? We are actually going wedding dress shopping. How fun is that? We're doing that this afternoon and then again on Sunday. We've got a few appointments. I'm very excited. And then I've got team meeting tomorrow, which is always fun. I love our team meetings. We meet the first of every month, the first Saturday of every month. And we stamp together, we chat, I do some recognition, it's lots of fun. All right. Okay, there we go. Now, we're gonna add these to the card. Some of these are gonna go on flat and some are gonna get popped up. So I'm gonna stick a mini glue dot on the back of this guy and it's gonna go right here, just flat. And I'm gonna use my fingers and just kind of pop up these petals a little bit just to give it a bit more dimension. And then the next one is gonna go on flat as well. And it's gonna go right here. Again, give it a bit more dimension. And then this one is going to go on with dimensionals. So I've got a mini white dimensional this time. And it's gonna get popped up right there. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, and now Okay. Oh, there we go. We're back. Okay. So now I'm going to bring in the inside and I'm going to bring in this beautiful stamp from the stamp set because we haven't done any stamping yet. Bring in my mossy meadow. I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of paper. And now my mossy meadow, I need to order a new one. My mossy meadow is a bit wonky here. We'll see if we can get a good enough impression. how well 
this is going to work. So we're going to stamp this in the lower left corner. And then I'm going to leave the green open because we're going to stamp our envelope to match. But before, while we've got this here, I'm going to choose the greeting, sending you Christmas cheer. This is from the Words of Cheer stamp set and some real red. So I wanted to pull in the real red from the outside of the card, that tiny little bit that we had on the outside. Stamp that in the center. And then let's bring back our envelope or bring in our envelope. And we'll ink this up and I'm going to stamp it in the lower left corner, just like I did on the inside of the card. So if you guys love this stamp set, I do have a Words of Cheer card class coming up towards the end of September. I posted a link in the description. I'd love for you to join me. I'm gonna share a peek at the cards in a minute here when we're finished this one. I think this is a beautiful bundle. I especially love the dies because the dies, the cheer and the happy. So here's the, the happy. I think both of these are great title builders. If you're a scrapbooker, I'm always looking for ways to build titles on my scrapbook layouts. And that is a great die set for that. And it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't even have to be just Christmas, right? You could do birthday cheer. You could do happy birthday. You could do happy retirement. You could do, like, there's lots of different ways that you can use it. It's not just for Christmas cards. All right, we'll pop this on the inside. And there we go. Oh, we got a little bit of ink there. And there's our card with our matching envelope. So a quick and easy card. You could replicate this in many, many different colors. And like I said, you could step it up if you wanted to emboss this, if you wanted to um, stamp on the background. But let me share a peek at the projects that we're gonna create in class. So we're gonna do two of each of these cards. There we go. So. The link to register for that class is in the description. I'd love for you to join me. The deadline is coming up. I believe it is the, uh, I think it's either Saturday or Sunday. I, I think it will make it Sunday because I won't place an order until Saturday, until Monday anyways. So hopefully you decide to join me and um, have a great weekend. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.